Okay, good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing not one but two Black Clover chapters because last week didn't have much that actually happened to discuss. So we're going to discuss both this week. So let's dive straight into it. Chapter 297 is, um, of course, spoiler warning. Just a quick spoiler warning. Um, so yeah, 297 is um, titled The Descent and 298 is titled Transient Life. So basically, 297, we get this phenomenal cover page with Noel in St. Valkyrie's mode. And the gist of this chapter now is basically, most of the pages is an all-out speed blitz battle between Vanica and Noel. Um, so that was basically what our chapter was. Um, so it, that's why I didn't cover it. It didn't have much to go on for that review. It would have been really short. So Noel basically goes all out and pins Vanica to um, a post and we see Vanica is naked, a uh, saucy pick. and Noel is about to finish her off but before she does that Vanica is feeling this feeling of joy and ecstasy and just like Kempachi from fighting and she's like can we be friends and Noel says no and I think Noel is about to finish her with her sword and when she's about to do the finishing blow we hear a voice that comes out of Vanika, it seems. And it says that Vanika is really intriguing, but this won't do. And we see a black slime sludge magic come out of her and cover her body. And this essentially is um, them saying, or not them, because it's the voice coming out of this black sludge. And it says Lucifer and the others didn't notice. And there are three souls... Um, or three vastly powerful mages of the same sex here. And the preparation for my descent is in place. And we see this sludge is still talking and starting to form in the bottom right panel, bottom, bottom left panel, sorry. And we see Charlotte's roses are dying, her blue roses are dying. And she's worried, she's, in, she's saying it's impossible because this is some super strong curse magic to be doing that. And then on the next panel, we get Majucula in the flesh. And we see Majucula has formed and is sitting on top of Vanika's shoulder. And Vanika is covered most of her body in black, with only her leg and one arm showing um, her actual skin. And this leads to Vanika basically saying that, um, you know, she's been with, well, Majucula telling Majucula Vanika, well, she's kind of controlling her body basically. So she tells them that, you know, I've been with Vanika for so long and uh, her manifestation will be complete when Laura Pachika and Vanika both die. And this leads to Gaja um, screaming out Laura Pachika while he's up on her because we see a swirl forming on her body. And this swirl that was forming on her basically transformed her into like a devil host, devil being kind of think because we see she gains horns and tear marks and all of that and the chapter ends with her attacking Gaja and Majukula saying that basically you know um I won't let you die alone because you're humans so you know you have some fun time here I'll get back to you all just now you know all you deal with all the situations and that's where that chapter ends and the other chapter begins now with what seems to be more details of this so we get the question now of them asking Majucula how are you here why are you here only one gate has been opened and we get the revelation that it's through a spell called malevolent fem femcarnation uh, and this spell calls for basically um, a lot of preparation and sacrifices and Majukula explains that it's been hard to do this, but the gist of it is she needs three strong sacrifices. Aesia was one, using her curse magic, and now Vanika is one, basically, and then Loro Pachika is the other one. Um, so that is the condition for her to be born with bypassing the gates. And we see that Loro Pachika has been chosen because she's a strong mage, the Queen of the Heart Kingdom, and of course Vanika is because she's a perfect devil host for her. So we get that, and then we see Laura Pachika using new magic. It is still water magic, but now it's offensive because we know she couldn't use offensive magic before. 
and it's called devil water magic kind of like fairy tale how there was um the devil magic uh so similar to that um so she uses devil water magic hydra of dark neros dark neros i think it was called darkness in the unofficial translation but she's going all out she's fighting um and basically they're wondering you know how to stop this now because you know two strong mages and we see noel uses sea dragons run tries to attack but Majukula blocks it and she uses a spell called curse warding magic the king will and this seems to be a spell that as the name says destroys and decays everything around it and in order to stop or prevent this spell from hitting all of them we see charlotte uses her rose petals rose one of the i'm i'm guessing both of them but the red and blue roses to try to absorb the curse magic and it isn't fully working and then real steps up and says he has to protect charlotte no matter what and noel's spell inspired him and he uses a new spell called picture magic twilight valhalla and it paints this big awesome mansion and then we see majukula steps up again and says curse word in magic unbound slave and we see spiky things going towards what seems to be rail's magic and charlotte's magic and it's attacking them it's attacking them it's destroying their barrier and uh, it did destroy their barrier actually and we see that essentially rail is stabbed um with spikes through him same for charlotte and then we see gadra is still fighting Loro Pachika and he uses true lightning magic nadaras do astroza and it does nothing basically and you know he he's having a monologue that you know he de decided to become the strongest in the heart kingdom in order to destroy all enemies and protect Loro Pachika however when he's about to attack her Loro Pachika does the unthinkable and sticks her hands straight through him we could actually see the hand going through him so he's attacked he's down and Noel looks back and sees everyone is down and she is about to attack and when she's about to attack we see her spirit dive just poofs, vanishes and um spirit dive vanishes completely noel begins to fall and majukula says basically you know you lose your spirit dive became undone you lose we then get a saucy picture of noel falling of course black clover enjoy boys internet do your thing um but yeah and the chapter ends there with noel falling and gaja being struck down by loro pachika the next chapter is the 11th so those are the two chapters combined they fit better together than reviewing one and then one because it was mostly a five chapter for both with slight revelations so main revelation majukula found a way to bypass the whole tree of quill fourth ritual and that's cool so i'm wondering if the other devils found ways to do this as well and if so will we see anyone else doing it next major thing is who is going to save them because this battle is almost over and noel is down for the count she has no power left gadja is taken down basically real is out charlotte is out so maybe Asta and they will have to come here first and help for this battle but yeah all in all good chapter i like the setups i like that it didn't go the same route as dante's fight and it was different so that's very good writing wise in my opinion so it's not the same cut and paste formula for each battle um so yeah all in all good chapter again i hope you all enjoyed if you had um if you liked anything i had to say if you have any comments leave them down below consider subscribing if you're new here hit like also check out my Yu-Gi-Oh video that i did recently so yeah i'll see you all in the next one bye